start off with the Sean Leaf uh, celebration game on Saturday. How did it go? Oh, yeah, it was okay. You know, the um, same old faces were there and, you know, it was all right. We, um, to be fair to the ones who went to London and who informed us they were going to watch a test in London, you know, we thank them. Um, we didn't do the presentation to Sean. We're now going to do that at the Hull game, you know, just because we had a few that did contact us to say they were um, going down to the test. But, you know, on behalf of Sean, we want to thank everyone who turned up, you know, the conditions weren't too nice, it was a bad day, but, you know, uh, in the end it turned out all right, especially with the result. Talking briefly there, uh, good win for New Zealand and, you know, evens the test match up ahead of this week's Clash in Wigan. Yeah, I thought it was a proper test match, you know, all I keep hearing is everyone says it was boring and this and that, but that's what a test match is, it is boring, you know, the defence for both sides was outstanding. I thought the um, it was an intense game. And, you know, to say, what do you want? You know, if, if rugby league's tough and you, you know, that that's what you don't want to see points being shipped in all over. But people say it was a boring game. And I don't know if anyone's seen Isaac Luke's interview after. He said that was a, a tough old test match and test matches should be boring. But... If anyone wanted to jump into his body, he'd, he'd gladly swap places because he was hurting. And, you know, when you've got a tough old ombro like that saying things like that, then you know it was a physical, physical test match. So, you know, I I love to see attacking rugby, but I thought it was intense and I thought it was it was OK. And to say, you know, we took it to London and we, we ruined it with a big crowd and all that, that's test match footy. And that's, I can't stipulate enough that that's how it should be played and, you know, they got into each other. England, yeah, they should, could have attacked better, but so could have New Zealand. So, you know, it's one all. It sets it up nicely for, for Wigan, and, you know, this will be the Kiwis' third game now. They were a bit rusty on the first one, so we'll see. So you've touched upon the Sean Lee getting the presentation of the Hull FC game. Uh, you know, how good is it to have them down here for a third season in a row? Oh, good. And, uh, you know, it be great. Hopefully... Um, We'll see a few of their new signings down here and, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing their, their new boys play and uh, I think Hull will be a force this year. So for them to, to come here as normal, it's, you know, we thank them, Lee Radford and Motu Tony and everyone over at Hull, they're brilliant with us. So um, we're looking to do some big things this year and they're looking to do the same. So hopefully uh, the partnership will go well again. Um, and uh, to have them in the friendly is is always good, and I think the games are real close, so we'll, we'll it's a good test for our boys anyway. In the last week as well, the club have confirmed that there'll be a Don's evening taking place where the fans will be able to come in, get the new shirts, meet the players, and that'll all happen before Christmas. And uh, you know they're going to get a free cap as well if they buy the shirt, so a nice incentive from the club. Yeah, we we try our best to give them something back, and the night last year went well. You know, when uh, Mitch Clark arrived and the and the boys trained here and went down well with the fans. So um, we do it every year when the as soon as the shirts arrive, we put a night on where they can meet the new boys. And obviously this year, you know, um, Gary will be introducing a few players to him because we've we've got a quite a few new ones. So. Um, you know, if they want to get to know them, they they can come down to the night. It's always good fun. Um, great. You know, we've got a good set of fans here, so we um, we understand we've all got to be one, and and we all got to be on the same page if we want to do anything this season. Uh, keep keep saying it, but it's a it's going to be a tough tough old season, and we we understand that. And the boys are in next week, um, so they're in nice and early, and you know they're in for a grueling time. I can assure everyone that. You think it's come round quickly, back in for pre-season, you know, they'll all be ready to go for the new year and the new season, uh, you know, lots of positivity. Oh, these these players we've got, they wanted to be in three, week, three or four weeks ago, they're, they're ready to go, uh, all young and keen and, you know, looking looking forward to start training, but, um, you know, we don't start proper until back into February, March, so they've, uh, there's a lot of time there to do a lot of work and... Uh, and I'm pretty sure Pete Green, Andrew, and Top Man Gary will get them in uh, in great shape before we start. And just finally to finish off, um, 
the Doncaster Rugby League Academy has been going well and I believe you've been down to watch them. Yeah, I did. I went down on um, on Wednesday to Tolbar. They That's where they play on a Wednesday. Uh, they played a team from from Batley and they, they played them the week before and lost 70-0. Um, you know, I went down just have, to have a look at how they're getting on and, geez, I was really impressed. They're well done to them, you know. They've done the club proud. They wore the, the, you know, they wore the shirt with pride and I'll tell you what, they give everything. They were and I, and they won't be far off of doing some good things if they all stick together and and continue in that vein of form. I think the score was only forty something twenty eight, which was amazing to say that they'd got beat seventy nil against the same team a week ago. So, you know, Adam Payne uh, and and Timmy and them they need a bit of respect there. They turn those boys around. I think they had them in three times this week. And to be fair, some of these players have never played rugby and. You know, I was real impressed with them. I really, really impressed, and just want to congratulate them and and tell them to you know keep working hard. And if they turn up with the right attitude, which they surely did on on Wednesday afternoon, um, you know they're not far off winning a couple of games. And then you know, in one or two years, they could be they could be winning things. You know, my prediction is they've got a very, very bright future because first time I've seen them, and you know, I I was really, really impressed and just credit to them well done to them all you know good luck keep going hard and keep listening to your coaches and and doing your school work and you know would enjoy your rugby